Well, come along and sing this song on Just Stand There a Wishing. Welcome you to join the crew at Max More Fishing. You get more with Max for sure if you'll just take a listen. You'll see how fun it can be at Max More Fishing. How are you today? We just got back from a little salt mission at San Luis Pass in Freeport, Texas with Robert Field. We got a little bit of an issue. So you might know, oh gosh, oh no. You might know salt water does a toll on your rods. Now, since we were there with Robert Field and he doesn't clean his own rods, this is what it turned out to be. Like I'm, I'm really turning that handle to get it to go. So, I'm going to start out with the spinning reel. As you can see, this one is locking up. This is one of Robert's reels that he uses all the time. And you can see it is just not wanting to turn. You're going to need some real oil. This is called real butter. It's just a lubrication for the reels. You don't want to use any other type except for the actual stuff that's made for reels. It's not good for it if it's not made for it. And then I've got some pin grease. It's just a little bitty tub thing. You can get both of those at Academy or Walmart. Then I've got some Q-tips for getting up in the little nooks and crannies. And some paper towels. Just to set your little parts on and all that. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is just take the reel off the rod. And then we're just going to spool this line up. I'm going to have to probably turn it by hand because this reel doesn't want to turn. Yeah, that does not want to turn. So, so when it doesn't want to turn like this by the handle, but it will turn by here, it's usually something to do with the gearing inside of the handle. So we're going to have to take all that apart. So now we're going to start by taking the drag cap off. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you just twist it counterclockwise and then you just pull it off. One thing I like to do is double up a paper towel, stick it on here so it's just a nice clean surface to put all your stuff on. Then you got your spool that just pops right off. And then there's going to be some type of gearing mechanism and what I like to do for this it's just, just take it off and just set it down like you put it on. Now, every single reel is different. So, you're going to want to just figure out how your reel goes and go from there. And what I like to do, as you can see, I'm putting in a line. So, I put the first thing, second thing, third thing, fourth thing. So, whenever, I go, whenever I'm done, I just know I go from here to there. I go right to left. And then it looks like there's a nut, like a little nut thing right there. So I just have this little tool kit and I've got a little bitty crescent wrench. Crescent wrenches are really nice to have because you never know what you're really gonna need in these reels or what sizes, because all brands are different. And you're always gonna need a small screwdriver. So this little flathead type thing. I'm just gonna remove this. This little screw here and place that there. And then if it's not finger tight, you can just... And these are not righty tighty lefty loosey. These are righty loosey lefty tighty. And the reason why is because when you're turning it, it goes right and you don't want it to come loose. So there's the little nut right there. Put that on the lineup. And then after the nut's off, the whole spool, the whole like bale will come off. And now here's where you get to the cleaning part. Now you can see how rusty all that is up in there. 
So your first thing you're going to want to do is put some oil on there. Not a lot, just enough to kind of get everything, because it's all dried out right now. So just enough to kind of get everything moving again. You can see already it's making a big difference. Oh yeah. And what I like to do is take the anti-reverse, flick that off so you can just freely move it back and forth. And this gear actually might be or this bearing actually might be bad or locked up so we're gonna have to remove that and on this reel there are usually three screws two or three screws that open a top plate where there's gonna be a bearing at and we're gonna want to take that bearing out but we're just trying to free this reel up and then grease it all back up so we're gonna put this in the lineup and you always want to know whenever you're taking multiple screws out if they're the same size or not. Because if they are, then you can just put them all together. But if they're not, then you got to know where they came off. And it also sometimes helps beginners taking this apart if it helps them if they take pictures. See, so this bearing isn't even turning. So it's completely locked up. So this little spring just came off, so you gotta watch that. So now we have this bearing. Now this bearing is completely locked up. So we're gonna have to oil it, let it soak a little bit. So what I've got here is some three-in-one oil and a little container. I'm just gonna let the bearing soak in this three in one you don't need a lot you just need enough to cover the bearing and then so something just about like that and then i'm going to prop it up using a little piece of cardboard here and just let it soak and if it's not enough just pour a little more in there just until it's submerged there you go. Now we're going to let that soak until we are done. So that bearing actually did a lot. It's a lot more clear now. And uh, but we are not done yet. Now here are some rod bearings. So these, what I like to do just put some oil in there and let them just sit there for a bit and just sit just like that and then what we can do now is take the handle off now on most reels there's a little screw pin here that unscrews the handle and then it pops out the other side and then your handle's completely off. But also what I'm gonna have to do is it looks like there's another bearing so we're gonna have to check that one. And what I just did is I just popped that out and this first gear comes off completely. Now here's where the Q-tips are gonna come in hand. To get all these little nooks and crannies, all this rust and gunk, I'm gonna have to get all that up in there. Now all that should not be that color. It should be like blue or it definitely shouldn't be like brownish red. And here's another bearing. It doesn't look like this one's locked up, but we're still gonna put it in this penetrating stuff just to keep it oiled up and nice. And then we can put this back on like so so now this whole module here can just stay together and 
for this reel and for most reels like this, you do not have to go up in there and take it completely apart because this is actually all the main gears up in that little hole. So what I'm going to do is just take a Q-tip, get all the stuff around it, being sure not to have any of the little fibers come off inside there because that could make the reel not work as good. And then I'm just going to take some oil, drop it in there, and then I'm going to take some grease and actually grease the actual gears up in there. And the shaft here, it doesn't hurt to, for that to be greased as well. And what that oil is going to do after you get it moving back and forth again, it's just going to help everything move around a little bit better. So now we're just going to remove that bearing we just put in here, the smaller one. We're going to put it back onto here, put our little piece right here on. That bearing looks good. Stick that back in there. And that already looks a ton better. Just so much, that feels so much better and cleaner, twisting that around. Now we're gonna stick this back on here, making sure not to disturb those rods. Then we're gonna take this bearing that used, that we needed to put a little work into I'm gonna kind of try to move it back and forth. And yep, yep, just got it. That's it, it's moving freely now. So now we are able to pop this back into place. Put this little puppy back on. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. What I like to do is take some drops of oil, stick them right up in there around the edges put some in this little thing here and it just helps keep everything lubricated and there we go but now what we're gonna do is stick this little cap back on gotta find the way it does go back on pretty sure that's it right there we're going to put these three screws back on here. Now that we got all three screws in, we're just going to continue down the assembly line. Gosh dang, those dogs are on crazy mode. And we're just going to put the nut back on. Remember, lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. Put the Tighten it down. You want to tighten it down pretty good, but not too much. That should be good. Just nice and snug. Now we're going to put the washer. Put that back on. Put this little gearbox thingy. What I like to do at this point just oil up this rod one more time and on this reel you can take this little cap off here and it goes to the ball bearing on the handle there's some oil in there put the little cap back on you can easily take that off with like a nickel or something now that that spins nice and well your good old-fashioned spool. I like to put some oil before you put this on like I tried to do. Put some oil in here. And there you go. So yeah, there we go. 
Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to clean a spinning reel. If you did, let me know what you would like to see next. And yeah, I just I had some fun. Got his reel unstuck because he doesn't clean it. Joking. I mean, not really, but kind of. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. And as always, you get more with Max for sure if you'll just take a listen. You'll see how fun it can be at Max More Fishing.